Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to try this one. And um, I'll, I'll try only a part of this to show you how uh, we can use um, adaptive family and mass to create part of this structure. Okay, so let's uh, do it. So first, um, we are going to, so we're going to use a con conceptual mass. Okay, so you can also use a project, uh, a model in place mass in project. Okay, so it will be the same. So I will, um, let's have a look. So I'm going to just model this. So basically this uh, curve, so you will see it's a, um, a, a structure. So then, and then, and then model all these, um, what do we call these <laughs> cables? Uh, okay, so so okay, so let's do it. So to model that model that uh, curved, we can use um, a kind of sweep sweep. If it's a model a generic model, it's a sweep. But in mass, uh, will be just uh, create form and use a path and a, a two profile. Okay, so first we're going to create a path. So reference. So and I'm going to place pa this path on this vertical reference plane. So set or plan, and pick this. Okay. So then I think uh, roughly. So the profile can be, I think something like like this. Okay. So imagine that's the bridge, and then so this is. I think, okay, so roughly like this. So this is a path. And then we need to place a profile. So point, place, draw on face, place on to this uh, reference line, and then create a profile. So use reference, so I'm going to use circle, and draw on word plan, set word plan, pick this point, and draw a circle. So um, I'm going to maybe 500. Okay, so 500, I maybe make it a little bit more, uh, 900. Okay, so that's it. So uh, I'll just delete the dimension. So uh, uh, we are not going to make it parametric for this exercise. Okay, so now we have one profile. So select it, CC, and we can place, um, place another one. So this time I'm going to place on this end of this path and make i'm going to make it slightly smaller maybe 500 okay so now drag this drag this point to the end as well okay so select this point oh sorry select this circle i'm going to move it mv roughly uh, i don't know maybe 30 meter away from this profile and also this mv 30 meter okay so now we have this path we did have these two profiles so select all of them and create form okay so this will create this for us so this is um, if you look at this image it's part of this structure okay so the next step is we're going to um, place oh before we place all these cable we need something on below this structure so uh, I'll just um, maybe just create a, a, a line okay just uh, pretend that's our that's the edge of the bridge so I think something like um, and also maybe I'll use this point for word plan so reference draw on word plan set word plan so I'm going to use the whole try to pick pick the uh, hell, we don't have a horizontal work plan from this point, so that's that's okay. So we can um, let me think. We can probably uh, we can probably just draw a reference plan. So let's uh, try RP. I'm going to just draw a reference plan here, and then let's pretend this reference ref, this reference plan is the oh uh, hell. So why it's on angle? So maybe we need to um, let me think. Set word plan. 
onto back onto level first and then let's go maybe go to south elevation so we're going to just draw a reference oh not reference reference plan where's the reference plan uh, i know that's rp but where is it mm. anyway let's type rp and draw a reference plan so now we have a horizontal reference plan so if i go to 3d view you will see uh, because this is conceptual mass you can see a reference plan in 3d view so this is the reference plan we are going to place our the edge the um the edge of our model so i'm going to draw a reference line draw on world plan set to world plan and pick that uh, this one and then we can just place a uh, an edge so um i think it's up to you so um i'll just use a spline okay spline so maybe something like uh this and uh, in the middle and go here and if you want to you know make a more interesting uh, shape you can add more control add more control point so then you can you know you can try you, you can adjust all this to make it um, more interesting yeah good okay so now let's say uh, I I want the this shape so okay so now we need to select this spline and use divided path and then just um, you can use space distance or you can just use number so I'm going to just type number 30 for example and then we just need to get some nodes on this structure as well so for this one we need to use divided surface so i'm going to tab select one face okay and then use divided surface and for um, v grid i'm going to type zero or even just change it to now and for u grid i'm going to type 30 so to uh, have a match number okay so to have the matching number <laughs> all right so then go here and check the nodes now you will see this blue dot so we can place adaptive family on them so now we can quickly create a new oh sorry new family so it will be generic model adaptive and so in this family so very simple just place two points make adaptive create create a spline make it reference line and then place a point place it here reference circle draw work plan work plan and set work plan and place pick this work plan and draw a circle i'm going to create a radius parameter and call it r and okay cc and and pick new host so we have two profiles so when we if we want to change the um, diameter of this family so it will uh, change the whole um, the whole sweep instead of you know, only one end okay so now let's just change that to maybe 100 okay so and then select these two profile and together with the path create a form select this point type in zero select this point top in one and then that's it unless you want to create a material parameter so i'll skip that um, so now we can load this into here so we can go to 3d view and start to place so first i'm going to place um 30 i guess or i'll just place it on the second one and also here second one and select it repeat and you will see uh, it's not right but uh, that's okay let's control z we just need to because Revit don't understand what we want to do but if we place another one here and select both of them and tell Revit oh let's repeat and Revit know uh, what we want to do and 
this is it. So because we have the parameter, so you can edit the type. So you can change the the, the diameter of of these cables. Okay, and also you can um, you can you can uh, still you can change the number. So for example, I'll change this to six sixty, and go. I'll select this one and change this to 60 as well and will automatically repeat and create 60 of these cables. So maybe I'll change this to 60. And, and if you can adjust the shape of this, so you can tab, select this uh, spline. So for example, I want to make it more dramatic, so something like that. And for example, uh, uh, this one you can also, so I want to extend this a little bit to there. Yeah. And that's it. So this is basic, this is just um, part of uh, that. But because it's all repeat, as you will see this mirror, if we mirror to the other side, and then mirror again. So basically, if you uh, if you can only if you can model one part, you can model the whole thing. And this is it. So um, if if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.